Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Well, nobody expected that to happen. What a day yesterday on FIFA 23 with Footy's Team 3 being mistakenly released early in two packs by EA Sports. And that was one of the craziest mistakes that we have seen in a long time. Now, today we're actually going to see those cards in packs like they should have been released and back in the game and on the market. And we'll actually be able to use them because right now, those of you that have packed them, can't even use them in games. It's kind of silly. It's like they don't exist, but they do at the same time in the game. So we're going to talk about all that madness today, the potential for that Ronaldinho SBC and what else to expect with new cards coming into packs as best of number one goes out and best of two comes in as well. So a lot to discuss today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Of course, before we talk about team three of footies, we got to talk about what else came out yesterday just really quickly here at the beginning of the video because there was some other interesting pieces of content that were dropped. First of all, more XP. This time, instead of Lacazette or uh, Lewa, we have a Team of the Year Honorable Mentions. Harry Kane will be doing some XP with, winning eight matches, scored in 10. You get the card for playing six. I believe he's extinct on the market right now, so just play six games a week in league. You get the card. You can do the objectives later on in the week. You have to do marquee matchups that dropped yesterday to get some XP, and then a daily bronze and silver upgrade, guys. These SPCs are not out yet. As it says, these will drop on Sunday. We'll be able to complete them then and get the XP. And also, a Trophy Titans Fernando Torres is going to drop on Monday. And that lone SPC is going to be a part of our XP grind that is there as well. That was basically it for objectives. The weekly objectives did refresh with um, Division Rivals rewards. Um, so make sure you check that out if you did not get those done last week or if it didn't reset for you last week. It is there now and it does work. And also, we had a player SBC yesterday. I mean, it was a pretty quiet Thursday apart from all the madness that went on. We had an Ivan Perisic SBC. I got it done right away. Boom, straight into my team. Honestly, um, it's not the best value SBC for most people. But for 100,000 coins with the card that he has, is really solid. And uh, for me, a decent card. One squad, right? That's something you can't complain too much about but back to the xp really quick it's a really slow drip right now with the xp a lot of you guys hit level 20 today or some of you guys did um i think a lot more people are starting to hit level 20 but it just feels like man this has been going on for a while we have 27 days left of this season it just feels like it should be going a little bit faster and we should be getting towards level 25 level 30 is a little bit quicker than we actually have been. So hopefully they release more XP today and they speed up that process in this next week because it needs to, man. We're now in the first week of August. It has got to get churning. We got to get that XP rolling. Now, let's talk about Footy's Team 3 because, of course, we've already seen these cards. They're not on the market and you've probably seen a lot of them on Twitter uh, and that's because of a variety of reasons. Now, yesterday it all started about an hour and a half before the content drop happened, we started seeing people packing these footies team three cards. And this is the full team right here, guys. If you have not seen it, 97 rated Al O'Reiron hero footies. He is five star, five star. You got 99 rated Neymar, the leak from last week. He is in packs. Love the dynamic image. He's not a premium card. He's just a regular footies item, but he gets great links anyway. Of course, you also have Carvajal and Captavia as Spanish outside backs in this team. Captavia and Carvajal are both very common to pack, and they both look really, really good, especially uh, the Captavia with the hero links. He's going to be one of the best left backs in the game, and I think he's going to be pretty cheap as well. Um, just of how, seeing how many people packed him yesterday uh, when we were opening packs. Also, two very big name Premier League attackers, Gabriel Jesus, 97 rated striker card, five star, five star, and Sancho, 96 rated. He's five star, four star, but still a really, really good looking card. Probably um, going to be super overpowered in this game. I remember his winter wild cards was really good. That's some good player selection, honestly, from EA. Uh, I, know, I know they're both not premiums, they're regular footies, but still some good player selection there. One of the most common cards being packed, Diego Carlos. He's going to be the cheapest out of all the footies. Uh, and there's Carvajal again that is all of the footies cards that are going to be in packs today as a part of team three so a couple of heroes in there only um uh, only one premium or not even any premiums actually carvajal carlos jesus sancho and neymar so it's just heroes and regular footies in packs today adding in the new footies cards and a, a lot of you guys yesterday were packing these i mean guys it was absolutely crazy when these got released into packs it was like team two and team three were in packs at the same time this guy got griezmann and diego carlos in the same player pick guys are packing captavia left right and center al away run like everybody went into a pack opening frenzy when they saw that these cards were in packs and i understand why think about having the opportunity of packing a 99 messi 
and a 99 Neymar in packs at the same time. Team 2 and Team 3 were all being packed at the same time. It was absolutely mental. If you did miss it, we were opening up a bunch of packs yesterday. There's a video up on the channel that we posted yesterday at a later time. I'll link that right above right here. Go and check that out because there were some crazy packs pulled there. And honestly, I think that was the best time to open packs yesterday. If you were on during that time, 85 times 10s. Now, I opened two 400K packs from the store, two 85 times 10s, both of my 86 plus player picks, and I didn't get a thing. But for like five to six hours yesterday, all that people were doing was spamming packs to try to pack these footies cards uh, because of what was going on with all of those cards in the game. Now, of course, they're not on the market. If you pack them tradable, their price ranges are very, very low. And like we mentioned as well, they are not able to be used in game. Actually, like if you have the card showing in your team and you try to click on the item to view the in game stats, you can't even view the in game stats like this because it's like the game is not acknowledging those cards are usable right and you know like you can't play with them you can't look at the stats it's like they're not supposed to be there and they're not i got honestly guys i do believe it was a mistake from ea that these cards made it into packs 100 percent um i don't think it was on purpose um I, but you know it seems like it took them a long time to take them out of packs so maybe they were like hey we're gonna take our sweet time because they knew that after of course Everybody saw those cards in packs that they were going to go to the market and start opening store packs. So, I mean, it is a little bit suspect that it, I think it took somewhere around like six or seven hours for EA to pull those cards out of packs. And guys, right now, they are not in packs. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not getting tweets of people packing them. And also, if you look at the pack probability percentages, when I opened this same 400K pack on stream twice yesterday, it was 20% chance plus for a footies or a premium footies player. And right now it's back down to 10 to 13% where it was last weekend. It was just team two that was in packs. So I do not believe they're in packs right now. I think EA has fixed it, but I I mean, it's a little bit suspect that EA let it go on for so long um, before actually taking them seemingly out of packs. But again, what a crazy thing that happened yesterday. That is, again, one of the craziest things that I have ever seen EA do from a mistake standpoint. And also, I've never seen so many people go to the store and open packs and packs and packs and try to pack these cards. I think a lot of people opened packs that they maybe were saving for today, for the best of batch two and for footies team three. I really think that might actually make today a little bit less hype because a lot of people already opened up their save packs because yesterday the pack uh, frenzy was just absolutely crazy so that's the madness with all those cards they're not in packs now they're going to be coming back into packs today and we're going to talk about their prices a little bit more in a second because it's going to impact the market a good amount today now we have a question about more stuff coming to packs today of course we've had best of batch one with all of these players on it watch out for a new link from ea today because batch one's going away batch two is coming in and the biggest news with batch two is there's going to be better players there's going to be higher rated players better fodder and probably the inclusion of team of the season and maybe some team of the year cards which has got a lot of people excited but also got me a little bit interested in what cards are ea going to add in right it could be like is this batch two going to be out for two weeks and they make it really insane where they have some guys like team of the season mbappe messi um holland and salah in this team or is it going to be more of like the lower tier middle tier of tots cards and maybe a a couple of team of the years and then ea add in a lot of like let's say older promo cards from like future stars and foot birthday and promos from the basically team of the year on are they going to go that route and are we going to have the opportunity for a batch three as well that would include the high tier tots cards and shapeshifters or is ea just going to go straight into it today and release a batch two that's got shapeshifters and high rated tots cards in it i think i'm leaning towards option number one where it's going to be a lot of middle tier to okay tots cards with a few you know top tier cards sprinkled in there like maybe layout gets in maybe dibala gets in but then a lot of you know tonali strafeza di lorenzo and some of your off league tots cards like super league and um, maybe like the Saudi league or the EFL tots. A lot of those cards might be in packs today as more fodder team of the seasons. I mean, I could see it going that way as well. So I'm very interested to see what EA puts in, puts in packs, but for sure we're expecting team of the seasons today, which is going to impact fodder prices a lot. And it's going to impact a lot of prices on the market. Of course, just like we saw last week, our best example is probably Centurion Zlatan and those team of the year icons. You guys know what's going to happen to their prices, right? Their prices, like look at Zlatan right now, man. These guys got destroyed 
or even yesterday because of everybody opening packs and people are packing uh, the best of cards. Zlatan's 130,000 coins. He was 800K last week before being reintroduced into packs guys the cards that get re-released re today are going to absolutely get destroyed in price whatever their prices are they're going to get cut in half or maybe even more so just be very very careful with those watch if you have a card in your team tradable you could wait until you see the release of what's in packs and then maybe quickly sell that card or you could just sell ahead of time if you think it's a lower to middle tier team of the season that might be re-released but of course a lot of us have sold those cards beforehand anyways so we're prepared and ready uh, for those prices to drop today now also with today's content we have a big sbc that we're expecting right we all know about this we've been hearing about this we've been talking about this ronaldinho cover star icon and we assume it's going to be today because of how things worked out last week today would be the best day for this sbc and especially now that the players coming into packs are already known and that pulls a little bit of the hype away please ea drop this sbc today all right now there's been an image and there's been a rumor going around that ronaldinho is like 99 rated and he's stupidly insane um let me try to find this picture right here i think this is fake guys i don't think this is real that's an old like dynamic image as well for ronaldinho's icon moments card of old pretty sure that it's fake bro um but I don't know. I mean, they did boost Roberto Carlos last week like crazy, crazy high. Could they give an insane Ronaldinho card out today via SBC or objective? They could. It's the end game. That'd be a nice little uh, thank you, I guess, from EA um, in a sense. But regardless, it's going to be expensive today, right? And this team of the year, Dino, is 3.1 million coins. He is down. And this card price today really is dependent upon how much the new Dino SBC or objective is. If it's an objective, <laughs> that would be pretty scary. If it's an SBC, like it's most likely going to be, I, again, I'll stick with my price range that we talked about earlier on in the week, probably four to five million coins. Not going to be an easy SBC to do, but so many people are looking forward to crafting it today and looking forward to trying to get it done. So, Watch out for that SBC today. A lot For a lot of people, it's probably going to be unobtainable. And um, one thing we remembered last week, right, was remember with the Carlos, we had that free 85 times 10 pack that they gave us last week. There are no new packs in the code that point towards uh, another pack like that being released today, specifically related to Ronaldinho. But there are a few packs added to the code that we do need to talk about today because there's a crazy pack inside of here. And 83 times 100 100 players all 83 and above that sounds like a very expensive store pack to me but that sounds like if you need fodder or you want a chance at packing a footies uh or a batch um two card like that that's crazy that's gonna be an absolutely insane pack whenever that gets dropped footies premium replay pack contains 15 players of footies best of batch two with 490 or above, that's an interesting one. Sounds like maybe store as well, or, or maybe an SBC. This one to me almost sounds like an SBC pack, but it's got a, a store pack kind of name. Contains six players, 87 or above from Footy's Best of Batch 2. Those are the three packs that have been added to the code right now as we head into Friday content today. So I'm not expecting a massive free pack today, but maybe we get a little bit of something. And speaking of Batch 2, one thing we saw when Batch 1 was released in SBCs was a player pick upgrade for a Best of Batch 1 player pick. This is going away today on Friday. I would expect a Best of Batch 2 player pick to replace it and i would probably expect this sbc dropping today to be a little bit more expensive maybe an 85 or an 86 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the season instead of just an 84 squad since the players that are going to be in batch two are probably going to be just a little bit better higher rated and all of that so watch out for that sbc coming today as well and of course with all of that coming out we got to talk about SBC fodder. Prices on fodder are sliding a little bit, right? 85s, 8,000 coins. Yeah, they're down some, right? I mean, they peaked a lot. A lot of them peaked on Wednesday. You had 85s that were almost 10,000 coins. Uh, and then they've kind of been just sliding in price as what normally happens, right? Early Fridays, people start playing weekend league. These prices drop as people open some packs, right? You've got Messi, Royce, Yaya Toure still in packs for this morning as people are getting their weekend league games in during the day today before the content drop with the new cards coming into packs so just like last week on friday what i would tell you guys to watch out for would be prices of fodder moving if we take a look at the graphs last week on friday at content lukaku was 7.3k after being 
eight to 9,000 coins on Thursday, and then had a quick spike, right at content, all the way to 9,000 coins with the SBCs that came out, and then went a little bit lower Friday night. I think that same thing is gonna happen today, right? Whether it's Ronaldinho, who is like, you know, somewhat affordable, which I doubt is gonna happen, but hey, you never know. Ronaldinho could move some fodder prices. That best of batch two player pick is probably the SBC that would move prices the most, or another player SBC, I would watch for a fodder spike right at the content drop, maybe for an hour or two after that, and then probably prices dropping a little bit lower into the Friday night time frame. Uh, so if you have fodder, maybe, or if you're trying to trade or invest a little bit today, watch out for the fodder scenario there. If I was interested in doing that, I would probably watch the middle tier the most, 84s, 85s, 86s for that player pick because that's going to be the SBC that draws the most hype today. And then, of course, keep an eye on your high-rated fodder. I'm a little worried about it still. And one thing we mentioned earlier on in the week is, yes, a lot of people want to do the Ronaldinho SBC, but also... Um, High-rated fodder is going to be plentiful in packs with Badge 2, so that could bring some prices down at the same time. So if you're going to do Ronaldinho right away, maybe you stock a little bit of fodder, but if you're not, um, maybe you wait and maybe you see what fodder prices do and what SPCs look like and how expensive the Dino is before going in on some of that really high-rated 90 and above fodder just to see what is in packs. So uh, again, speaking of fodder once more and all the SPCs we have today, it's just nice that EA allow these player picks to stay around the 81 and the 80 plus player pick are both around today so you have something to craft into to try to pack cards um the tots or shapeshifter player pick does go away today but the 85 times 10 and of course uh, the 86 plus player pick are still around we'll be able to do those once more again today or twice more for the 85 10 and twice for the 86 double player pick or the 86 player pick so those are going to be the, uh, requiring some fodder and making some prices move on the market as well. And then, you know, objectives, right? Um, maybe a player objective. That's something that we see just about every single Friday. Rodri's going away today. If you didn't get him done, um, he's a really good card to get done. Danger is, of course, there. And maybe a cup, right? We had a cup in week one. We didn't have one last week. So maybe they bring it back for week number three. That would be nice. I feel like a cup was missing a little bit this past week. Um, and uh, hopefully they bring that back this week as well. So watch out for that. And uh, yeah, market-wise, we'll talk about a few things here really quickly to end the video off. We've covered the best of. Uh, I want to talk about the footies cards a little bit. If you're looking to try like footies Neymar or um, maybe it's footies, I don't know, Gabriel Jesus, or maybe it's the uh, world, not the World Cup, but the hero, Alo Weyron, footies hero, um, you know, for these cards today, I would say their prices are going to start a lot lower because think about everybody that was packing these cards yesterday. I could keep scrolling through my mentions and showing you guys all these packs. Ruben Neves. Oh, yeah, that's a card we didn't show you earlier. Ruben Neves is another one that's going to be in packs today. He's a premium item. He's He might be one of the only premium items actually uh, that is in packs because a lot of the other ones are just the regular footies. Um, again, Captavia getting packed a ton. I think these guys' prices are going to start out pretty low because so many people packed them yesterday um they're looking to sell them right away probably once their price ranges actually get uh increased like right now a lot of the footies i think are like ten thousand coins um for like diego carlos and stuff like that so i would imagine people are going to be listing those up today and um it looked like the pack weight wasn't even that bad either although i was not able to get one based off of all the tweets that i saw and all the packs that were open yesterday there was a lot of packs open then which will bring supply to the market right away today for people that start listing but then as well i think there's less packs that are going to be opened um today on friday as a result because i don't think as many people are saving packs after the madness of yesterday and a lot of people opened those save packs but that already brought a lot of supply. So those cards are probably going to get listed up really quick. It's going to be interesting to watch their prices. Might be really good to trade with some of the more rare ones like Alawayrin, uh, maybe Gabriel Jesus, maybe the Sancho as well, Captavia too. We'll have to keep an eye on those today on the market. And then guys, um, I would say just be really careful with the rest of the market, right? If we get a really good player SBC, if we get really good... Um, I don't even know, objective player. It just seems like these footies cards, as they we get more and more of them every single week, especially in objectives and stuff like that, it just kind of eats away uh, on these cards that are on the market because right now, think about it. People opened a bunch of packs yesterday from the store with coins like I did. A lot of people are losing coins with SBCs being out that are draining coins. Fodder is expensive on the middle to low tier. Coins are being drained off this market, and that's going to in turn continue to hurt the market with team of the season cards being packs today. It's going to drop prices there. And I would imagine some of your shapeshifters and stuff like that are going to fall throughout this weekend. So it's going to be a very interesting market day. Um, some of you guys that maybe want to buy a team two card, 
a lot of these cards, look at Marco Royce yesterday from 540 all the way down to 474. If we were to get a Bundesliga player today um, in an SBC, you know, Royce could go back up a little bit. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on some of these Team 2 cards uh, like Griezmann, uh, maybe Messi as well. Like if you need to buy Messi for your team, he might go up a little bit today. I could see him going up. He's, he, he's pretty rare. Um, but also at the same time, I would probably wait and see what content is before going in on something like that. Forlan is a very popular card. Uh, again, the Royce is very popular. And uh, yeah, so just keep an eye on some of those Team 2 cards. Some of the Team 1s, of course, like if you look at, um, who was it? Joe Gomez went up a lot from Team 1. Di Maria is still very rare and still has a pretty high price. So those footies Team 2 cards might be a little interesting to invest in if you want one for your team this weekend league because there is a lot of weekend league demand, once again. Uh, and one thing I'll say as well is that the more people that are playing weekend league this weekend, getting Konate, Mkhitaryan, Muriel, and Buchanan, that's going to be more people that get those free cards, and maybe they don't need a, a four line, or because they got Muriel, or maybe they don't need. Um, I don't even know what a good example would be, but you know, specifically that that four line for the Muriel, right? That's a really good striker card. That if you're using four line tradable, maybe you sell your four line because you have that new one. Maybe you don't need Royce because you get the Mkhitaryan this weekend, stuff like that. Some people are going to be able to get. Actually, would it be possible to get? Konate? I think it would be. If you went like, um, yeah, if you win 35 matches between two weekend leagues, which is pretty crazy, it's going to be a select few number of people that get Konate. But this weekend, Konate is obtainable if you uh, were to go basically like 18 wins and 17 wins in back to back weekend leagues. So um, that's pretty crazy there. I think Varan is at minimum price. And uh, it's kind of expected now with Konate going to start coming out as well. So yeah, man, just be really careful in the market today. Have fun, open some packs and uh, watch the fodder market because that's where most people, if you're trying to make coins, the fodder market's probably going to be the best place for you today because that's where most people will be buying and selling cards. But hopefully EA drops something nice with Ronaldinho today. Hopefully they kind of sort like, I don't know, they need to bring the hype today somehow with the best of batch two, a player pick, something like that. Give us something to grind a little bit. And then of course, Weekend League is there too. But it just kind of, everything in this game feels weird now based off of yesterday's madness and everything that happened. And yeah, guys, hopefully EA bring the hype today on Friday for footies team number three. If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you on the Twitch stream today. That link is in the bio as well. It's been Nathan with the account. See you guys there. Peace out.